middle, 6'10", number 20, Dario Schatz. At four, six foot six, number 23, Drake Mondrian. Forward, six seven, number twenty two, Andrew Wiggins. At guard, six six, number eleven, Clay Thompson. At guard. Six three, number thirty, Stephen Curry. Two K Sports presents the NBA Monday Night Basketball. It's coming right up. I'm Kevin Harlan. With me at the table, Craig Anthony and Richard Jefferson, and we've also got Hall of Famer David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. And a moment here to check out who the Golden State Warriors have coming up on Wednesday. They'll go up against Bradley Beal and the Phoenix Suns. Then on Friday, the San Antonio Spurs come into town, tipping off a homestand for them. Here's the starting group for Houston. Preparing up front, Smith and Shengu. The guard spots are Van Vliet and Green. And it's Brooks in at the three. And for the Warriors, the championship core of the Warriors is out there. Curry and Thompson in the backcourt with Green working at power forward. Wiggins is out there with Dario Saric. And Greg, taking a look at this one here tonight, the clash at the guard positions really stands out. No question about it. Both teams rely heavily on their backcourts to get it done. I'm interested to see which backcourt brings it tonight. Curry against Van Vliet. Thompson outside, shoots the three. It's up and it's off the mark. He's 0 for 1. For the Houston Rockets, they come into tonight following a loss to the Lakers in Los Angeles. Smith for three. Good on the triple. This is right in Smith's wheelhouse, catching fire. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Golden State Warriors. It's a three-point game. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. And here's Houston. And it's Brooks in the corner. And it's off from three-point range. Golden State's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Wiggins left side. Curry looking it over from deep three-point land. And again, it's the Warriors missing. RJ, the Warriors' dominance of this era has put them among the best franchises of all time. Yes, I would completely agree with that. No one comes close to the Lakers and Celtics, though, Cap. The Warriors, after the Spurs, I think the Spurs are three. But the Warriors and the Bulls, because they had two dominant eras. And not much really before, and not much really after. RJ, if you had to choose someone to take the last shot in the big game, Clay Thompson, I'm assuming, is right up there. Oh, Kev, Clay Thompson would be my number one. He plays with an even temperature. His facial expressions never change. He's never too high, never too low. And look, we've obviously seen that he can knock down any shot at any time. Here's Curry following the basket by Fred Van Vliet. And it's Thompson with the jam. Just an unselfish play from Curry. Always ready to move the ball and his body to help an open shooter. Van Vliet finds Smith. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. Smith's got a couple of threes now in the first for Houston. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Curry passes to Thompson, and it's Thompson with the jam. Oh, the bounce still play? Okay, I see you get off the floor with the threes with a little dunk. Brooks outside. Smith on the wing. No good on the shot. Good D by Thompson. The Warriors have gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Curry kicks to Green. 
pass to Shorch. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. And it's Thompson again missing. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Rockets. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing the last matchup with the Lakers. Yeah, for that loss, you can credit their defense, or lack thereof. Too many breakdowns on that end of the floor. Some of it was solid shooting from their opponent, but they didn't have any teeth with their defense. Need to be more active than they were. Here's Curry. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. Houston's gone two or four from beyond the arc to start the game. Brooks misses. And maybe he thinks he has that type of range, but I'm not sure who'd agree with him. Yeah, and you're not going to just have the green light for long if you're chucking up bombs like that. Curry, good. Just another day at the office for Mr. Curry. The Rockets trade. Van Vliet passes to Brooks. That ball, great assist by Van Vliet. Three ball. Van Vliet's got three assists in the game. On the wing, Wiggins fires the three. And another three for Golden State. Wiggins getting some instant payback for that three on the other end. You just got to love the competitive fire. And Houston calls their first time out of the game. Who wants a free Sharich. Kaminga comes in for Draymond Green. Gary Payton has checked in for Andrew Wiggins. And Paul subbed in for Curry. Houston with a big group substitution here. Jock Landale's checked in for Shengu. Green comes in for Smith. Reggie Bullock, he's checked in for Brooks. It's Thompson in for Fred Van Vliet. Thompson outside. And Thompson throws it down. And he's got rocket ship like takeoff. Thompson can flat out fly. Thompson outside. Ball against Thompson. Ball passes to Thompson. Thompson outside. And it's Bullock in the corner. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. A quality pass setting up a quality shot. It's just textbook basketball. Passes to Kaminga. The feed now to Thompson. Stolen by Bullock. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Green draws the double. Here's Landale. And the three off target. Warriors trail by four. Paul passes to Thompson. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Now, here's Bullock. To the middle. Green inside the three-point line. A solid defender. Thompson has a lot of experience guarding the league's top perimeter player. The scoring fast and furious as we end the first quarter. Rockets on top. They lead by four. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for Houston. From the very start of this game, they have been giving the ball handlers trouble, using good pressure to force turnovers and get steals. 
And another thing, guys, they've been very active tonight, frequently creating scoring opportunities off turnovers. Rockets leading by four. So with Wiggins sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. They're going to go small with Paul, and Curry is the guard pick. Kaminga out there with Gary Payton the second. And it's Garuba in at the center, filling out the middle. Now here's Paul. Scoreless thus far. Hits it from three-point range. And this is what Paul is known for. He is a shrewd distributor with a pass-first mentality. And R.J., with Gary Payton II, he has one of the most inspiring success stories in our league. Undrafted in 2016, he spent five years grinding in the G League, but he finally broke through in 2022. His defense was a major factor for the Warriors championship run. Just focusing on the task at hand, that's all you can do. Yeah, when the game is up for grabs like this one has been, it's all about the attention to detail. Pass to Whitmore. Back to Thompson. Shoots a three. Another miss by Houston. And, and gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. Out to the right wing. Here's Garuba. Off target from outside. Shocking that he just bricked that one. The defense got real lucky there. Thompson kicks to Bullock. Drills the three-pointer. Bullock's got six. A lot of give and take between these sides early. And both teams look like they came to play. We should have a good one. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Kevin, thanks. Chris Paul is on the back nine of what will be a Hall of Fame career, but he's not ready to hang it up just yet. He said, I don't know if I can ever retire because... The emotional roller coaster that you go on during a game. For real, there's nothing like it. His love of the game has never been in question, Kevin. Back to you. Yeah, you're right, David. Never in question. Hey, thanks for that story. Here's Thompson following the basket by Chris Paul. Here's Whitmore. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Whitmore's got his first three points of the game. And this is crucial to Whitmore's development, wanting time to out, continue to improve as a scorer. And the Warriors Party. decide to take their first time out here. And get ready to move. And welcome out here, Warriors 16. Checked in for Garuba. Green comes in for Kaminga. Andrew Wiggins checked in for Gary Payton. And Thompson in for Paul. Houston with a big group substitution here. Smith checked in for Green. Brooks comes in for Whitmore. Green, he's checked in for Reggie Bullock. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Thompson. And again, it's the Warriors missing. G.A. We've seen it over the last couple of years. The center position has come back into vogue. And Kevin, we were seeing teams go small. Lots of fours. Even traditional threes play the five. But with MVP level seasons from guys like Jokic and Embiid, the center isn't quite extinct yet. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Curry against Van Vliet. Fires away from outside. Rebound by Smith. Smith's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. 
here's Brooks. It's good. It's his second basket. He's shooting two for four. Oh, nice play from Brooks down in the paint. Not afraid to get physical on the inside. Stolen by Van Vliet. To the inside, Smith. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. From Van Vliet's got four assists in the game. And I've been impressed with the unselfishness, but also getting guys the ball where they can do something with it. His court vision has been on display in this one. He's doing a tremendous job just orchestrating the offense beautifully. Now here's Shorich. 17 points for him last game against Oklahoma City. Thompson for the triple. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Thompson's got nine. And this is Thompson's shot. One of the most gifted outside shooters the NBA, the world, has ever seen. Nation, who's going home with a free teacher? Checked in. Breakers. Here now, the league's highest scoring teams the past 10 games. What a stretch it has been for these guys. Number five, the Warriors. Yeah, what an impressive run for this club. Everybody seems to be in a rhythm in terms of scoring, and they are putting up some big numbers. Now, here's Van Vliet. He provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. And it's Smith missing. Look, the defense was locked in on him there. They know how dangerous he can be, and they guarded him perfectly. Wiggins passes to Thompson. Outside, Green. Golden State moving the ball around. Pass to Thompson. Six on the shot clock. Oh, Thompson, tough shot. Thompson. You're not going to speed him up. Even when you get aggressive guarding Thompson, he stays in control. He's just so tough to cover. And Green gets it to go. Guy's just ridiculous. He's just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. Now here's Paul. He had 15 points last out. Thompson outside. Jacks up a three. The Rockets pull it in. Shingun's got four rebounds now tonight. Two seconds separate in the shot clock and game clock. Brooks kicks to Shangoon. And a miss there on the triple. And no need to rush this. Let the clock run down. Yeah, you don't have to be quick. You just have to be deliberate. Smith outside. Nailed from three-point land. Smith's got the lead up to eight now for the Rockets. He fits right into this next generation of power forwards. Smith, look, he is comfortable at any range. Number seven, Cam Whitmore. Up in time. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And so it's Houston holding on to an eight-point lead, heading into the break. The one goal they had coming into this game was to not let Curry beat them. And so far, their defense on Steph has been tremendous. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Andrew, they shot the lights out in the first half. What has to change? Uh, get back, you know, focus on getting back, guarding your man, uh, and I'll take these real. It starts with a man-on-man -man challenge. Thank you. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, for that interview, and we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. And thank you for joining us as with two quarters in the books, it's looking good for the Houston Rockets. It's impressive how well they've protected the ball. No messy dribbling. They've kept it on the string, fellas, and that's prevented the other guys from getting free possessions. Certainly has been one of the difference makers in this game. All right, guys, let's talk about our players of the week for both conferences. In the West, Ja Morant. Well, Ja Morant has certainly been one of the most exciting guys to watch. The athleticism, are you kidding me? Never passes up an opportunity for a big play. 
but also does the other stuff. Control the pace, run the offense. He's the complete package. And that about wraps it up. And as the third quarter is about to begin, we go to Kevin Harlan for the call. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. We're seeing, guys, a tremendous game from Jabari Smith. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. He always wants to be a go-to guy for them. I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half. And it's Van Vliet with the ball for the Houston Rockets. They lead by eight. That's the biggest of the game. Starting the second half, here's Ime Udoka's five. The wings, Green and Brooks. The pairing up front, Smith and Shengu. And it's Van Vliet in at the point guard position. And Fred Van Vliet is going to pick up a foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Second team foul. Thompson dishes to Curry. They double-team Curry. Green the pass to Curry. Thompson outside. Curry a screen on Green. Back to Curry from past the arc. Rebound by Smith. Rockets leading by eight. And yes, records are made to be broken. But RJ made three-point shots. My goodness, Curry is so far ahead of everyone else. Yeah, to me, it comes down to longevity. LeBron passed Kareem on all-time scoring list, so anything is possible. But it's hard to pass Steph because he's just going to keep going. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Here's Curry. His scoring average of about 32 and a half points a game tells you all you need to know about how dangerous a player he can be. And here is Curry. Pretty early to be over the limit. That foul situation is something we want to keep an eye on. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And that one falls from Saric. And the toughness Saric provides is an important component. A physical, strong forward who does whatever is asked of him. Thompson, he's checked in for Fred Van Vliet. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Some big guys struggle at the line. Not him. He's put in the work to defy that assumption. The shot by Thompson, no good. Warriors trail by nine. Curry kicks to Sharic. Let's it go from deep. Rebound by Smith. Smith's got his sixth rebound on the night. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. And the wait is now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks very much, guys. Now, culture is thrown around a lot in the NBA, but the Warriors team has it in spades, and Kevon Looney says the way we play is the way the locker room is. It's fast, loose, and disciplined. As long as you work, you're able to enjoy what you're doing. Everyone has input, and I think the biggest thing with our culture is we always talk about playing with joy. Kevin? And they do. Love it, David. Good stuff. Thank you so much. And there's a flexibility to time Brooks' out, game. Out. He can play a specific role for you, or he can be a high-usage guy. It really depends on what a team needs from night to night. Now a timeout called by Golden State. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated.
first year block leaders in the NBA. Here are the top rookie intimidators. Cam Whitmore, fourth. And, of course, Amen Thompson. Uh, and among first-year players, these two are as intimidating a pair of shot blockers as you're going to see. Charge passes to Wiggins. Golden State moving the ball around. Green left side. Houston. And the call will be against Jabari Smith. Smith. Second personal foul. So that will be his second Houston. foul of the game. We're in the bonus. And we'll go to the line to shoot two. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. And from the line thus far, how about 83% on the season? Outstanding. One of the greatest shooters we've ever seen. Thompson is also a proven winner and champion. The pass to Smith. Here's Shengun, covered by Sharch. Shengun kicks to Smith. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Green. Smith dishes to Brooks. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. Brooks has got the lead up to 12 now for the Rockets. Ooh, he's earning his keep offensively, a key part of their winning effort at this point. On its way from Curry for two, and again, it's the Warriors missing. For Houston, they've gone two of five, shooting here in the third quarter. Brooks kicks to Green, and the three ball is good. Green's got a second bucket tonight. He can get it down off the dribble or off the catch. Green is just a flat-out shooter. Thompson passes to Green. Thompson finds Brooks. Smith for three. It's rebounded by Curry. And even with good coverage defensively, that time he has confidence to drill the three. And Green gets it to go. And Draymond is smart at knowing when to shoot the ball, especially when he's got strong position inside. Timeout call for Rockets. here also for Houston. Reggie Bullock, he's checked in for Brooks. And here are the Rockets now. Thompson surveying the floor. Smith for three. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Smith's got 14 points. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. In the modern NBA, you have to hit threes to win games. And they've made that adjustment since the break. And it's Bullock in the corner. No good on the triple. Warriors trail by 16. And there's the foul. It's on Jalen Green. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. At the line for the double. Oh, no, he's the last guy you want to put on the line. You can just about book the points every time he steps up there. The Warriors making a switch here. Paul's checked in. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. Now, here's Thompson. 
Taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. The wing jumper off target. And so it's Paul bringing it up for the Warriors. They trail by 14. Two wow. points from Wiggins. Andrew, he is getting it. 59 seconds left in the third quarter. Two points. That one goes. Seven points in the game. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots. Playing smart with the lead. And there's the call on Amen Thompson. That's his first foul of the game. And the bonus will go to the free throw line. And certainly flying under the radar this summer was Chris Paul. He's moved to the Golden State Warriors GA. That is a very interesting move. Yeah, Paul was on the outs in Phoenix. And after a brief stop in D.C., Ended up with the Warriors. Once was a heated rival of the franchise, but that's how fast things can change. Now here's Paul. He's been a factor in their offense on most nights with his scoring average at nearly 16 points a game. A nice shot by Garuba. Got it in close. And unless it's an open three, that's the key to efficient offense. The Rockets have been successful on three of their four free throw attempts up to this point. Two shots. Free throw drops for Green. Now Green is one of those players that always finds a way to create something offensively that gets his team good looks. Corey Joseph's checked in for the Warriors. And so he hits both. Warriors trail by 12. 14 feet away. The Rockets pull it in. Smith's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here's Thompson. It's rebounded by Kaminga. Kaminga's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And so it's Houston. Up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. They've had active hands and a forced a lot of turnovers in this one. Back right after this. And a moment ago inside the huddle with head coach Steve Kerr. We've got to get the first domino to fall, and then it's boom, boom, boom. The extra pass. We're not running plays to get a shot. We're running plays to get the domino to fall. So move the ball, drive and kick, we'll get great shots, all right? He's preaching team chemistry right now, Greg. And he wants more ball movement because that makes everything simple. As we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. So with Thompson sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. They're going to go small with Paul and Curry as the guard pair. Peyton is out there with Green, and it's Kaminga in at the center. Now here's Thompson. Five on the clock. Houston needs to get a shot from deep green. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. And the length of green is a real issue for the D. His arms just go forever, which often results in a lot of shooting fouls for him. Moody's checked in for Golden State. And they're drawing more whistles and working their way to the line here in the second half. Warriors trail by 13, and Curry has it in the corner. Shengun against Paul. Peyton kicks to Kaminga. And Kaminga throws it down. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for him. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? Yeah, you can feel Coach smiling on the sidelines with every offensive board. Now here's Thompson out to the wing. Here's Whitmore. His three-pointers off the mark. We played just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. Moody the pass to Paul. He gets it to Paul. That makes it just a single-digit lead. Can't forget about Paul on the perimeter, especially from those corner spots. Here's 
Shengu. Warriors with the rebound. Here's Peyton. Outside for Curry. That's in, coming off an assist from Peyton. After sinking one triple in the first quarter, he nails another one in the second quarter. He's got it going on. Timeout call for Rockets. And let me hear you one more time for your chief. is checked in for Kaminga. Draymond Green comes in for Gary Payton. Wiggins is checked in for Moody. And it's Thompson in for Paul. Houston with a big group substitution here. Jabari Smith, he's checked in for Green. Brooks comes in for Whitmore. Jalen Green's checked in for Reggie Bullock. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Thompson. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Hey, guys, during that last break, I heard Emi Odoka as he talked with the team. And he was real calm during the timeout. He was smiling when he told the team, we're up. Game plan is working. Go out there and have fun. It's always fun when you're up late. Guys? All right, thank you, David. Curry passes to Wiggins. Thompson against Green. Takes a step back. Open shot. Thompson. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Smith's got rebound number eight now on the night. Here's Brooks, and he converts the layup. And the Rockets lead by seven. Oh, the balance Brooks has is impressive. Able to work through the defense and still capitalize. Curry can't get it to go. And it's Van Vliet with the ball for the Houston Rockets. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Some solid defense from Sharich. Golden State's gotten off four, three pointers in the final quarter, and two of them a foul. And Fred Van Vliet is going to pick up a foul. That's his fifth foul. Timeout call the Warriors. It's Eastern time. Dalvation, get loud if you want one. Outside curve. Inside, here's Green. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. The game of Green, it's about testing the defense, finding their weak spots. The line for the Warriors. on Green. Two shots. And he sinks the second. A vocal leader both on and off the floor. Green plays with a real fire in edge. And that one's good. Green. Green's got nine points here in the second half. And that's what you like to see right there. A solid move to give himself some room and take it inside. Second personal foul. Third team foul. There's 154 left in the fourth quarter. That is not the shot they needed there. You've got to work it around and get a better look. And they call the eight-second violation. Too much time getting it up court. Golden State basketball. Curry against Van Vliet. A three ball. Shengun with the rebound. Shengun's got rebound number seven for him tonight. 
to Smith from deep. And he's good on the three ball. And it's an 11 point rocket lead. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor space. Yeah, you got to know where he is at all times, especially when he's roaming around the perimeter ready to fire. And you know what? If you're the defense, you got him right where you want him. Let him keep shooting those threes because he's been brutal in this half. Late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. If you want to be great, you have to have that killer instinct. And, and so only one team answered the bell tonight, guys. Not a monster blowout by any means, but still a double-digit victory for the Rockets. And the big difference here was accuracy from three-point range. Yeah, and once they started sinking shots, it really stretched out the D and created other opportunities. And any time they got space, they seemed to just knock down another triple. And now, for the year, this is going to take them to seven wins. And so they're able to even up the season series at a game of peace with one left to play, exacting a little revenge and really saving face. They did not want to go down 2-0. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Jabari Smith. He was extremely efficient offensively, got good looks, and really knocked down big shots all game long. And Chen shot, and it's finished off inside by Smith. And the Rockets lead by nine. Look, sometimes you got to go up and grab those boards. Smith doing a good job of using that length and finishing off that glass. And guys, they can just sit on the ball here if they want to. They have earned this win. Cans it from downtown. Three pointer. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. And it felt like they just flipped the switch to go on that run and seal the game. Saving their best basketball for the end. Always smart. And Van Vliet, here we go. So we see the Rockets taking the win here. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time GA this one wound down. Yeah, that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching as we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Jabari Smith.